he's looking at me, I'm looking at him, and I went, hey! And he went, hey! And at that point, I knew that this is not good. Not good, as in nine men against one not good. Carson Battersby is still haunted by the odds and the choices he faced that morning. What would change it is if I knew that I could protect myself and my property without the repercussions of getting thrown in jail. Because I will be going to jail if I defend myself. I know that. So I'm screwed. It started off as a normal weekday. Battersby was heading to his shop just before 7 in the morning. Then he heard a racket from the lane leading into his yard. A Jeep Cherokee flew past him, then a pickup truck towing a trailer. And then also I heard another racket and I looked and here comes a little gray car and he's just burning in the yard. And I'm thinking, what in the heck is going on? He figured it out fast. The Cherokee pulled up to these tanks and the driver helped himself. After his exchange with the driver, Battersby got into his shop. He knew he had to get to the main house and a phone. I, I go run up to the house and tell my wife, they're stealing gas, call the cops. So she calls the cops and the first thing they say, have you got any weapons? And I said, no, we got no weapons. And uh, they said, go hide, go in the house, lock the doors, like a coward. What still bugs Battersby today is that the stolen truck and trailer were mired in the mud by his elderly mom's house. The nearest RCMP were at least 20 minutes away in Spiritwood. So, stay with his wife or go to his mother. It's a decision he frets over today, but never had to make. The truck and trailer made it out of the mud. The Jeep and the car took off with Battersby's son and the RCMP in pursuit. It was scary, man. I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> RCMP say they're still investigating what happened here on Carson Battersby's farm, and they've made three arrests. As for Battersby, he's still waiting to have a good night's sleep as he tries to forget what happened here that morning. Dan Zakreski, CBC News, Big Shell.